Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. It is Alien Week, so from now until probably the 18th of June, you've got a chance to do some Alien Weeky things. This is going to be a mixture of ship sails. Actually, it's mostly ship sails, admittedly. Uh, the new concept sail for the Gatak Rylan as well. And there's a few other Alien Week things to do. There's going to be a variety of Alien Week posts from, um, oh, look at the Vandal and look at the, the Xi'an and look at these languages and things like that. And we've got the Gatak manufacturer now, which has done the Gatak Rylan. Um, we've got um, out of this world offerings with those ship sails, which we'll look at in a second. And we've got an intergalactic or intragalactic cook-off, as it's spelt here. Um, so uh, this is a, a competition to make some cool-looking um, alien recipes and uh, and foods and take pictures of them uh, there's an alien trading card competition which you can get involved with as well and there'll be um, a little translatey uh, thing that you can get involved with where there's going to be some uh, text written in xian which you can decipher throughout the week um, and we'll see a variety of alien factoids on twitter and instagram and i'll update you in the news uh, with all of that uh, we've just had an inside star citizen which looked at each of the alien races that are in game and talked a little bit about them um so Go check that out if you are so inclined. And Jay Lee is currently um, working uh, on making a new alien race for the game, which is, you know, just a, a game dev special episode of Star Citizen Live, uh, where they're sort of making one just for the sake of making one and explaining how they would make a new alien race if they made one. I uh, don't expect it to appear in game properly. Maybe it will appear in game in in game lore. It's like, oh, this is an alien race in a computer game, or this is an alien race in a poster or a, or a film or something. So there are a variety of alien ships on sale at the moment. We've got the Gatak Rylan. Um, yeah, we'll take a look at that again in a second. Uh, but that's that new Xi'an human cargo ship, um, which we were expecting for a while. Um, so we've got a variety of ships on Warbond sale uh, as well. So Warbond ships, they are uh, available um, with new money only, no store credit. If you store credit, you can't buy war bond ship, basically. Um, if you are a Chairman's Club member, which is this little symbol of the lion here, or Chairman's Club, um, that means you've spent $1,000 or more on the game, and then you have access to that Chairman's Club stuff uh, to purchase. Um, so in this case, it's the Rylan with a paint. Um, and you can see here, my prices have got 20% extra added to them because I'm in the UK and that's VAT. So the Rylan, that's available from $200. It's medium-sized, um, multi-crew, cargo ship, yeah, if you're into that, cool. A um, couple of turrets which need to be manned if you want to have the defences done properly. Uh, and then you have the uh, pilot flying it around, coordinating stuff. And uh, the other um, uh, crewman would probably be controlling the missiles and helping with subsystems. Um, or running around being an engineer. Uh, so what else have we got? We've got an Alien Week collection for the Talons. Uh, so what actually comes in this? Uh, so it's the Talon and the Talon Shrike. And... Uh, Talon Shrike armor and standard Talon armor, as well as a, a new paint. And so, any week there's a no, load of new paints available as well. Um, so, we've also got the uh, Spear of Talon, the Talon Shrike, and that new paint, and the individual armor sets uh, for uh, the Talon or the Shrike. And basically, they're the same with different color accents. So, you've got the more purpley accents on the Shrike, and then what the more greeny accents on the um, Talon armor. It's pretty cool. People are into that sort of stuff. I, I, I see, think I like the Prowler one the most, uh, although uh, Zin will certainly be into that Shrike armor. Um, she likes purple. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of Warbond upgrades. These Warbond upgrades, as far as I'm aware, um, just upgrade your base package to the new ship. They don't give you extra insurance or anything like that. They take the insurance from the original pledge um, that you've, you've got there, or the pledge you're upgrading from. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we've got the Nox available on sale, the Katu Al, the Shian Light Fighter, the Banu Defender, uh, which is the sort of um, Banu medium uh, long range fighter. Um, we've got the Blade for the uh, Vandal. Now, we haven't got the Glaive and we haven't got the Scythe here. Um, I'm expecting the Glaive and the Scythe to be on sale once they update those ships uh, for the new models. Um, we've got the Prowler as well. Really like the Prowler. Very expensive though. Um, we've got the Banu Defender on limited time, Warbond upgrade sale as well um, for ships that are coming in the future. We've got the Santok Yai, that Xi'an medium fighter. And we've got the Merchantman, and the Merchantman's gone up by $100. Um, it's gone up more here because of VAT, but it's now $500 to buy the Merchantman. And I um, think it's probably going to finish at $600, $700 when it's released would be my expectation. 
Uh, and if people are like desperate to buy one, I'd recommend getting it in game at this point. It's like wait until it's um, released, get it in game. Uh, spending several hundred dollars on a ship, uh, in my opinion, like that, um, yeah, it's cool. Um, but it's a while out. You might see it like end of next year sort of thing. The Bandit Merchantman, if we're lucky. Um, so um, you can buy a limited uh, time up war bond upgrade as well to it. And then we got a sort of platinum paint for the Bandit Defender. That um, new odd uh, paint for the Prowler. Um, got some pins. I'm going to buy these pins. I, I want all of the pins. Uh, so get that pin set. And then we've got, if you're a concierge member, if you're a Chairman's Club member, you can buy the Alien Complete Pack. Um, war bond or or not and it also contains the gap tack which will mean it should have um, lifetime insurance on all the ships it does indeed uh, the spirit talon the shrike the prowler the defender the nox nox q uh, kartu al uh, santok yai glaive blade and uh, the merchantman doesn't have the scythe in it because the scythe is supposed to be super rare admittedly uh, okay that's interesting to know um but that's really it for alien week um if you're into getting the Gatak Rylan, cool. Um, it's available from $200, War Bond. Uh, check out my focus video on it. I don't think I mentioned in that video that the uh, loner for the Gatak Rylan is the um, Kartu Al, so the Xi'an Light Fighter, uh, and the Caterpillar. So you get both those ships while you're waiting for this ship um, to uh, get into your hands. I do like it. I think it's cool. Uh, external cargo, um, 320 cargo units. A cool morphing function for when it's landed. Um, it's got a tractor beam. It's got two manned turrets. Uh, it's got missiles. Uh, four crew. It's got a bathroom, crew quarters for four crew. Uh, galley. Um, little uh, uh, ET area. Uh, grav lift. So throughout the ship there's a little gravity lift. Um, but also that goes onto the ground as well. Um, yeah. I think it's a cool ship. And uh, I think it will make some people pretty happy. But um, I would love to know what you, you're thinking. Uh, are you going to be purchasing a Gatak Rylan? Uh, are you going to be purchasing anything else during Alien Week? You're like, ah, oh, yeah, I know the Banner Merchantman's gone up, but maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll still get it. Um, are you going to be getting any of these ships in game? Do you think they're too uh, prohibitively expensive? Uh, what do you think about this monetization model? Um, are you going to be participating in any of the Alien Week sort of competitions or the translation or whatever? Um, whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. I'm shilling for spaceships today. Do you like building spaceships? Of course you do. JR Fabrication make officially licensed Star Citizen products and Airfix-like model kits. Do you want a narrow fighter? Maybe a freelancer? Some cyclone little buggies? Dragonflies? Oh my. You can buy them and build them or just add them to your pile of shame. You want dioramas of ships and vehicles? They've got them too. And they continue to add more to their range. Follow the link down below to jrfabrication.co.uk forward slash board to see all of the wonderful products they have on offer and use the code board Invictus to also get some exclusive Fleet Week recruitment propaganda. A3 art prints with each of your orders. Ooh. Every month we have a ship giveaway and June is no different. We are giving away a Mercury Star Runner to one lucky viewer that comments on one of my videos made during June on the YouTubes. Just get involved in the comment section, ask a question or tell me what you think about the video or the subject we were discussing. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well. And maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.